Vladimir Putin suggests a deal could be made to free an American journalist held in Russia. He made those comments during his mostly friendly interview with Tucker Carlson. Evan Gershkovich, a reporter for The Wall Street Journal, was arrested last year on charges of spying. Both the U.S. government and The Wall Street Journal say the allegation is bogus. Now, Putin suggested to Carlson that a prisoner swap was possible while making reference to a Russian hitman convicted of murder in Berlin. Mikhail Zygar is the author of War and Punishment. He is also the founding editor of the independent Russian television channel TV Rain. Uh, I really want to thank you for joining us. It goes without saying that you right now live in exile. Um, what do you make of what happened with Tucker Carlson and Vladimir Putin? And, and what I'm really interested in is what effect do you believe it had on ordinary Russians? Does it further entrench this idea that, you know, Putin is a master antagonist needling the West and that it, that actually plays well in an election year? <laughs> you know, I think that Putin is quite happy with uh, the interview because he uh, he's really interested in uh, the Western audience, not only Russian audience. And uh, during the last uh, couple of years, we've been watching him trying to appeal uh, to more conservative audience. Uh, he's trying to push the, the ultra-conservative uh, um, laws and initiatives in Russia. So, yes, he wants to be liked by, by people like Tucker Carlson. He wants to be liked by, um, by far right all around the globe. So I think he's, he's very, very happy. And this interview was particularly um, organized not for domestic audience. That's that was uh, initiated for international audience, and I think he he thinks that he has achieved his goals. Yeah, and it was as you said for a Western audience, but yet at the same time uh, it, he did get a lot of attention, Tucker Carlson and Vladimir Putin, while he was in Russia. But I want to ask you, why do you believe the Kremlin granted the interview? And I want to ask specifically about the aid bill. The aid bill for Ukraine making its way, trying to make its way through Capitol Hill right now. Do you believe he can influence whether or not Ukraine gets more aid from the United States? You know, I think Putin considers uh, the war in Ukraine to be strongly associated with Joe Biden. And he thinks that, uh, that the time is on his side, on Putin's side. Um, his bet is on Donald Trump. He is expecting Donald Trump to be to be back in the White House. And I think uh, when he was speaking about a uh, deal um, and a possible exchange of Evan Gershkovich, that's w w what is discussed in, in Moscow. Evan Gershkovich could be uh, sent uh, back home to the, the United States, but only if uh, there is a, the new owner in the White House. So probably next January when, uh, as Putin hopes, uh, on the inauguration day of Donald Trump, um, Evan Gershkovich could be sent from Russia to, to the United interesting. States, not earlier. So, yeah, interesting. So you believe he's saving it as a win for Donald Trump, if Donald Trump is absolutely. the president. Absolutely. 